God, I got another great praise report. I've been waiting on you. Bless you. I've been waiting on you. How are you doing? Wonderful, wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce Eddie O'Connor. He has a great testimony. What have you been? Just jump right into it. We ain't got a lot of formalities or whatever. God is here. You know, Talk I, about what I'm, God did I'm a living witness that my test, that your test is a testimony. Yes. Your misery is ministry. Your mess is a message. Uh, God will take you from trial to triumph. He'll take you from breakdown to breakthrough. And what he will do is he will turn your struggle and use a miraculous and magnanimous blessing to turn your struggle into strength. Jesus. Because all over this place, wherever you're listening, you're listening to a 15-year survivor of stage 4 cancer. Wow. Stage 4 cancer. Hallelujah. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what situation your your what doesn't matter what stage your situation is in. I'm a living witness that God can turn it around. Revelation 12:11 declares, "And we overcame him yes. by the blood of the lamb and by the yes. word of our testimony." Yes, and we love not our lives to the death. Your testimony can bring somebody out. I don't look like what I've been through. Chemotherapy, radiation. Uh, the doctors told my mother uh, four words. We can't promise anything to be 15 years old, to be young, to be black, to be male, to be told what I could never do, to be told what I could never overcome. Jesus. Chemo and radiation pumped into me like a heroin addict. My own biological father never visited me one day in the hospital. I'm a living witness that people will be with you on the mountaintop, but when it goes to the place of your valley, they'll scatter. They'll be with you on the Mount of Transfiguration, but where are they in Gethsemane? They'll be with you when you're successful, but they leave you when you're dealing with places of failure. But I had to not just go through it, I had to grow through it. And the Lord told me, he said, go to Psalm 118 and 17, which says, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. He said, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. Oh, yes, he said, weeping may endure for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. In my situation, my night was 18 months. Chemo and radiation. Y'all see these waves tonight? Uh, I didn't have no waves. Lost all my hair. Was rocking the Michael Jordan 2-3 with the 4-5. But the Lord says, in spite of what you've been through, Jesus. I'm going to use your test as a place of testimony. I'm going to use your place of situation to bring revelation. And what I'll do is I'll move you from situation to revelation to manifestation to restoration towards your destination. How do I know him to be a healer if I'd never been sick? How do I know him Thank to you, be a deliverer if I've never been discombobulated? How do I know him for, to be a place of provision yes, and sir. a place of power if I'd never had to go through the pain? You're listening to somebody in spite of what uh, the situation said. I had chemo, radiation, uh, the cancer had metastasized in my body to where my... Uh, uh, they had to when they cut me open they saw my cells were growing so fast that the doctors could see them growing with the naked eye around my trachea around my esophagus around my voice box the place where I'm speaking to you out of right now wow. and the fact of the matter is the enemy wants to shut your mouth but what you have to do you have to lift up a praise. Even if I can just wave my hand, that's my place of deliverance. Because when I begin to speak forth the oracles of the living God, you got to let the Lord whisper sweet somethings in your ear. See, folks wanted to whisper bitter nothings in your ear, and they were about nothing. But the Lord says, I want to whisper uh, that you can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I want to whisper into your ear that nay in all these things, you're more than a conqueror. You're more than depression. You're more than sickness. You're more than sadness. You're more than suicide. You're more than cancer. And the Lord turned my mindset because the Lord says, I want to renew your mind. I'll keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind stayed on me. And in my situation, the Lord said, I want you to look at that cancer. The cancer doesn't have you. You have it because you placed it in my hand. And the first three letters in cancer is can. You can overcome. You can wow. survive. You can live Jesus. through dying places. There's purpose on the inside of you. There's a gift. There's a treasure within an earthen yes. vessel. Yes, and the Lord. devil cannot kill you because your purpose has to be revealed. Your purpose has to come through to fruition. Daddy. Your vision has to come to fruition. You, and Lord. what you've got to do is you've got to begin to birth it out. You've got to begin to press through the situation. Jesus. You've got to begin to press through the circumstance yeah, 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 and yeah, say, yeah. I'm I'm putting the word on it even right here at the word network yeah i'm 
putting the word on my situation. I'm putting the word on my circumstance. I'm putting the word because I know that's my testimony and I know deliverance is in my hand. I love that. I love that. Jesus. How long have you been uh, cancer free? 15 years. 15 year survivor. And the fact of the matter, come on, somebody praise God just for that. Mm, mm, mm. You know, the statistics suggest that every second in America, two to three people are diagnosed with cancer. Yeah. One in every 1,000 teenagers is diagnosed. And for me to be talking to you, for you to be seeing a living, breathing testimony it's and a miracle, miracle yes. of what God has done, you can Jesus, overcome. Jesus. I'm a living witness. You know, a lot of times we throw around the word miracle yes. Yes. a little too much. Mm -hmm. Like we throw around the word legend. Yeah. We just throw these big, humongous words or epic. We just use them, you know, daily. A miracle is something that medicine cannot help you with. Not at all. A miracle is something where the hand of God supernaturally yes. 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 has to do for you yes. when none else can help. I'm not talking about words. I'm not talking about medicine. A miracle is something that literally has to happen supernaturally from something outside of yourself. It has to be God. Don't tell me that God is not real. Don't tell me that God doesn't exist. I don't want to hear it. I don't believe it. This right here is a modern miracle. Yes. God is just not the God of the Old Testament, of the New Testament. Right. He did things back in the day, but he's not doing them anymore. I come to declare every Wednesday night and every day that he gives me to live, that God is a healer today as he was yesterday. He is the same today as he was yesterday. I love my God because he's more than just a provider. He's more than just a way maker. He's more than just a deliverer. He's more than just a healer. Whatever you need him to be, that's what he'll be for you. I love what Eddie said. I'm so glad you're here. Yes. I am so moved yes. by you. I'm so moved by Pastor. I am so, oh, I'm so on fire tonight. This is the greatest birthday gift I ever could have gotten. I love being around God's people, and I'm so glad that you tuned in. I am so excited because all I live for is to bring somebody hope. Yes. 